that is the sound of the collective breath of Minnesota Vikings fans being let out because no one on our team got arrested this offseason. Uh, it's always nice. Uh, and unlike some certain franchise to the east, um, the Vikings can rest easy in the fact that we don't have any uh, legal issues to deal with or anything. Of course, the New York uh, or New England uh, Patriots um, have been going through some problems with their star tight end, Aaron Hernandez, being arrested for murder, possibly a multiple murder, just ugly, ugly, ugly. They subsequently cut him. They had to give back uh, a bunch, all of his jerseys, jerseys to fans who bought uh, Aaron Henderson jerseys, so uh, the Vikings have none of that. But in the wake of that story that has uh, dominated the headlines um, this offseason, uh, the Viking. There has been a, a graphic going around uh, the internet, and here it is of uh, of arrests per team since 2000, since the year 2000, and the Vikings are not at the top of the list, but tied for the top of the list with 40 arrests. So call this the crime and punishment um, episode of uh, Minnesota Vikings chat. We'll go through uh, the, these arrests, and I did some research on Vikings arrests through the years, and we'll, we'll talk about those. So. Um, the Vikings have 40 arrests according to this chart. Now, this chart is uh, by Mar Mario Wolf, who uh, posted it on Reddit. It pro posted, posted his data uh, that he used uh, uh, to make this chart on Reddit, and uh, it lists uh, NFL team arrests by NFL, of NFL players uh, by team uh, since 2000, as you can see. Now, this this chart, chart was uh, brought to my attention by Minnesota Vikings chatter Monica Melcia. So thank you, Monica. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, so that's how I sort of got the idea to do some additional research to see how the Vikings uh, have fared throughout the years beyond uh, 2000. As you can see from this chart, this is a rest per month, and uh, it spikes uh, predictably during the off season. You got a, combi a lethal combination of young kids with a lot of money on their hands and nothing to do. Um, so uh, they tend to get into trouble uh, when they're not involved in, in football when it's the off season. And arrests by, uh, by position. This chart shows uh, the de uh, defensive backs by far are uh, the most arrested defensive linemen are next. The least arrested are quarterbacks. So um, uh, that sort of makes sense. Um, so we, uh, I'm going to, let me get rid of this screen share here. Turn that off so we can talk. There we go. <laughs> So uh, I, did, I did research on uh, Vikings arrests since 1975, and I've come up with a grand total of 65. Since 1975, uh, 65 uh, Vikings have been arrested for various, uh, various things. Uh, in the 70s, there are three. In the uh, 80s, there were 12. In the 90s, there were 10. In the 2000s, there were 30. A bad year for the Vikings. And in this decade, uh, only 10. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go through the whole list. I got the whole list on uh, MinnesotaVikingsChat.com, so you can check that out. But let's uh, let's uh, look at some of the uh, more prominent ones. So there are nine drug-related arrests among those among those 65. Donald Igwe Buikwe. He was a kicker uh, that the Vikings had uh, on their roster in the 80 in one year. I can't I can't remember. I think it might have been 1980. Uh, he had played with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before that. He actually played for the Vikings for only eight games. Uh, he was nearly flawless. I think he missed two kicks. There were uh, field goals of, uh, of over 50 yards. Um, he was arrested on suspicion of heroin smuggling from Nigeria, from his home uh, country of Nigeria. Uh, he was ultimately found not guilty, but he didn't play in the NFL after that. So uh, Donald Igwe Buikwe infamously uh, arrested for heroin smuggling. Tw 25 alcohol-related um, arrests. Now that's, you know, a, a, a organization that has a lot of young people on it that's sort of predictable too, uh, unfortunately. But uh, over the over the years, 25 alcohol-related arrests among those 65. Most prominent among them, Tommy Kramer, Vikings quarterback, uh, Rich Gannon, another quarterback, Steve Jordan, the best tight end the Vikings have ever had. Uh, defensive end Kenny Nixon was arrested three times, obviously had an alcohol problem. Uh, wide receiver Corn Robinson, two. 
uh, was arrested uh, after having had two previous DWI charges. Uh, he was fresh off a Pro Bowl season uh, as the Vikings kick returner. And then uh, Keith Millard in 1990 was arrested for uh, for an alcohol-related offense. And uh, as a result of that uh, arrest, came up with the infamous quote that my arms are more powerful than your guns. Classic quote that he uh, that he said to the to the cops who had arrested him. Um, there were five gun-related charges uh, in the 1990s. Uh, wide receiver Hassan Jones and linebacker Broderick Thomas were arrested at airports separately in separate instances because they forgot that they had packed their firearms in their luggage. Uh, so it's a no-no. You cannot bring uh, uh, guns on planes, uh, especially these days, but this was in the 90s. So. Uh, five domestic disturbance charges, unfortunately. Uh, Warren Moon was arrested for assaulting his wife. That was the most prominent among those. Uh, 19 disorderly conduct charges. Uh, Bryant McKinney. Bryant McKinney, uh, who is uh, reporting to camp overweight again uh, for the uh, for uh, Baltimore. Uh, he was arrested four times for obstructing police, for disorderly conduct after a scuffle at a gas station, for um, disorderly conduct, uh, indecent conduct, lewd and lascivious conduct during the infamous Love Boat scandal, uh, and he was charged with aggravated battery, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest after a street brawl outside of Miami uh, club. Five arrests for indecency in one fell swoop. That was uh, the Love Boat uh, scandal in 2005. Uh, four of them were arrested. Mo Williams, running back Mo Williams. Fred Smoot, who never did a thing for us, uh, was arrested. Bryant McKinney, the aforementioned Bryant McKinney and quarterback Dante Culper were arrested in that incident. And then Dwight Smith, a year later, safety Dwight Smith was, uh, was cited for indecent conduct with a woman in Block E stairwell. So... Those are the prominent arrests of, uh, of Vikings throughout the years. Um, some notable incidents that were not arrests. Uh, Vikings claimed in 1988, the Vikings claimed a defensive back off waivers um, who, uh, his name was Mossy Cade, uh, and they released him immediately after public outcry over his rape conviction. He'd been convicted of rape. So what were you thinking? Of course you shouldn't sign a guy that was convicted of rape. There's, there's A public outcry would have been predictable as hell, so they could have already avoided themselves the embarrassment and not, not claim them in the first place. And then, of course, probably the most infamous of uh, Vikings non-arrest-related uh, entanglements with the, with the law, shall we say, Ontario Smith. In May of 2005, running back Ontario Smith, who called himself, proclaimed himself the steal of the draft, SOD, uh, was detained at Minneapolis International Airport for carrying, a dry, for carrying dried urine in a mysterious device that was later identified as the Wizenator. <laughs> the Wizenator was a kit used to uh, beat drug, or drug tests. And uh, in June uh, of that year, he was, he was suspended for the entire 2005 season uh, after a third violation of the NFL substance abuse policy. Uh, he unfortunately he was a very good running back. He did some, some had some very good games for us, uh, but he never ended up doing anything after that. Um, so uh, this uh, this season. Uh, it, Head coach Leslie Frazier certainly breathed a sigh of relief. Uh, he told reporters, uh, I've thought about that as uh, I've seen different headlines across the league, and he is happy that none of the Vikings uh, were, uh, <laughs> were arrested this offseason. Uh, so, again, the list of the Vikings arrest is at minnesotavikingschat.com. Uh, go there. If you know of any that I've missed, check it out. Go on there, and if you know of any that I missed, leave them. Please leave them in the comments, uh, ideally with a link to a uh, uh, third-party citation. So I can go and check it out and, and verify that no, uh, the Vikings arrest actually occurred. Cam is back. Uh, the Vikings have Adrian Peterson hooked up to have a camera hooked up to his helmet, so you can get the point of view of the man, Adrian Peterson, MV Peterson. Uh, so visit Vikings.com to check out that video. Pretty awesome to see that. Um, I want to give some shout-outs before we wrap this. Kirby Aaron's. Thank you for watching the show. Kirby watches the show from a Navy destroyer based in Pearl Harbor. That is awesome. What I want to know 
is, Kirby, do you ever play football on the deck of a destroyer? Can you play football on the deck of a destroyer? That would be fun. Uh, Kirby was at last year's Pro Bowl where uh, Kyle Rudolph won MVP. So thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much more for your service to our nation. I uh, appreciate it. And then I want to thank Martin Simpson, too, uh, for plus wanting all of the Vikings chat content on Google+. I appreciate that. Thanks for giving us the thumbs up on, on uh, Google+. And I just want to point out the importance of social media for spreading uh, the word and, and helping spread the word about the Vikings chat. Uh, when you do that, when you like something on Facebook, uh, some Vikings chat stuff on Facebook, when you share a video, uh, you're helping build this this audience and helping build us a, a community so we can all chat during the, during Vikings game games. So uh, please do do all that and uh, thank you for doing it. And uh, and Martin again, thank you for uh, plus for sharing stuff and uh, and thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, so let's wrap this. It's been a long episode. Uh, we'll be back next week. MinnesotaVikingsChat.com is where you can find us. Uh, also on Facebook at facebook.com slash Minnesota Vikings Chat. On Twitter at Minnesota Vikings Chat. Or at Twitter, on twitter.com slash mnvikingschat. And of course, use the Vikings Chat hashtag so we know when you're talking about Vikings. Uh, what do you think? What do you think about this podcast? Leave your comments below um, and uh, be sure to subscribe to uh, Minnesota Vikings YouTube channel so you don't miss any of these videos. Uh, so that's it. That's a wrap for this week. Uh, my name is David Erickson, the host of Minnesota Vikings Chat, and we'll see you next week. Until then, go Vikings!